YouTube family. Apparently, WAC 100 gets in a little situation on Clubhouse. Follow the 100 ENT, by the way. He basically, you know, and shout out to Clubhouse Streets, by the way, as well. WAC 100, you know what I'm saying? He was said in a scammer. Basically, the box is something like that, but I'm going to let y'all read into it. Y'all can look at it. You know, WAC 100 talks to Stan G about the music world and who runs it. You know what I mean? He's at the Energy Gang Global Eggheads. You know, shout out the Energy Gang Global Eggheads, man. WAC 100 really is entertaining. I ain't going to cap. Even though I got difference of opinions on him, this man is hella uh, intriguing to listen to, man. So I got another banger for y'all. Y'all just hit that like button. Hit that notification bell. Make sure you rock out with the fastest growing movement on Clubhouse and YouTube. I smoke hip-hop live platform. You know what I mean? My bad. I don't mean Clubhouse. I be on Clubhouse, but I don't have a Clubhouse. But follow me and rock with me, man. Let's hit you with that duck intro, and then we're going to hit y'all with the content. FBG shit. <laughs> That nigga Rich still wear them same earrings he had on in you know, that video. When he around you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't never seen the earring, but I guess he was an Israelite brother back then, I tell you. Mm. <laughs> But I watched the video, and I was trying to figure out what was wrong with the video. You know, a lot of these young niggas dress weird to me anyway. They do weird shit. I ain't gonna lie, Wack. I see, I see what, what you and Reed be going through. Man, niggas, niggas do not like seeing niggas come together, man. They are trying to tear you down quick, man. Quick, man. They trying to tear the team down before the team. That nigga had his Dennis Rodman going on, bro. Come on, my nigga. Your nigga had his Dennis Rodman going on. It's been so much uh, Fugazi though, shit, man. Why y'all hate? Why y'all hating on Dennis Rodman? That nigga name? Dennis Rodman who dresses too, bro. No, he definitely Dennis Rodman. Definitely. Uh, that nigga married himself too. The cross dresser, did he? Hell yeah. I'm trying to figure out though, cause they kept saying Reek exposed. So I'm like, I would listen to it, and it sounded like he was just saying a whole bunch of nuts. But I was like, was well, exposed? I was trying to figure. Out. Did I miss that? What would he say? I thought, I thought Dennis Rodman wearing that that that, that um Scottish shit. Hey, Dennis hey, Rodman, hey, that wait, with uh, young thug. Bro, one thing I learned, especially in the past like week and a half, is niggas on this app will make shit up about you and, and pretend like that shit is real. I really believe that shit. No, bro, we That's did have some big ass earrings. What you talking about? I ain't talking about that. I ain't. I don't dispute the earrings. Maybe he did. Yo. I'm talking about. Some, I'm talking about. Yo, what was they exposing though? Because this, this I shit listened to about. it. He was saying a whole bunch of nothing. No, I, I think they said the that, like, like they said, he said that he a gangster. What happened to all that? Like, why he switched back over? To oh, bro, you know how many Muslim Muslim gang bangers I know. I know a lot, but I'm saying they said like why he switched back over. They, they just won't read the answer. That. Yeah, but in Stalin, he was talking that Israelite shit. So who say he switched back to anything? The niggas is Christian. Gang members, I see a bunch of Muslim gang bangers. I see a bunch of niggas that's Muslim, but they they crips of blood. And shit, maybe it's fake, whatever, whatever that shit is. Being an Israelite, I don't know what that shit. I don't pay religion no attention about like that. Me personally, I believe in the that's another, hey, that's another thing. That's another thing. When he was on that episode, he said that. that <laughs> He always say, "Oh God!" No, when you so say it's like, like, God, he was like, "You ain't you like you don't really fuck with God." Then. And that nigga said, "Oh God!" So a lot of people. So Israel like, Israel like, Israel like, Israel like they don't believe in God. <laughs> no, they do. That's why he's saying like, Reek. Why he ain't trying to, you know, what I'm saying promote what he got going on? If that's what he is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. I know. I know a bunch of them brothers, the Israelite brothers. 
So they come by. Big Nitro, I, like talk- I like talking to them because them niggas, them niggas is crazy in the motherfucker. No, I know some from Chicago. They, yeah, I know some gang members that that's that's just like they GDs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Be- they believe in God, yeah, but they don't believe in the Bible. Go to the, the term or the Bible of the day. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it, hey, Reek been on fire. I told that nigga Reek, we keep this shit going on another week. You gonna be on this time. You can't say it too. I know one thing. One thing that cousin came on there. She told us the wrong. The motherfucking wrong made up a lie with her baby daddy. Accusing the baby daddy of touching the kid and told her, I'm about to lie on this nigga. Get him out the way. Then she's sending us back shadows talking about she gonna sue us for harassment, but she gonna kill herself. So I asked her, is you gonna kill yourself before or after you gonna find the harassment suit? Because you can't kill yourself and be in front of the judge at the same time. That's impossible. These folks got a problem with this all. She playing victim, you know, saying the same broad who been on a marathon. Now somebody told her, whack been being too quiet. I hope you ready. They warned the bro. You know I'm going to go out there in the water and come back with something. She didn't text this nigga a week a hundred times since that. She got to sit down. And I ain't even let the torpedo go yet. Hey. Hey, I, I saw them I yet. saw them messages too. I saw them messages, way. Yeah. I, seen. I ain't even let the torpedo go on her yet. That bro picked yeah, that up was, almost 30000 off of fraudulent... Um, off a fraudulent GoFundMe thing. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. She made oh. money. So why she mad and weak about milking her when she was milking the people? What's the problem? You ready for Saudi Arabia? Let's talk about you milking the people. My brother's death. Your brother got buried in June. Heard a cousin. You just killed that GoFundMe three, four weeks ago when Reek exposed. You milking the people, you mad that Reek is milking you. I'm confused. Oh, well, I'm confused. The cousin came on there and told us she running around there talking about the brother was a community advocate. He said that nigga got killed because he didn't get that DB, that nigga his EDD card, bro. That they shot that nigga over 32 times in the barbershop because all the EDD cars went to his address and the nigga played dumb and they come and got him. And then turned the gun on her and her mama and ran him up out of open. Now the truth out. Wait, who yeah. is this, The bitch, whatever that bro named that chucked them in parading around. Is that whole damn? Japan. Japan. Say what? Japan. Okay, Japan. Japan. Man, t- Chuck, you been having that hope. You been milking. I mean, you do what you're supposed to do, but the bitch, we need to call her back, Chuck. You got to call her back and say, look, you milked the people for 30000 on the GoFundMe. Your brother been buried since June. You been, you just cut the GoFundMe off at the end of May. How many times you going to bury the nigga? Hey, whack. She was just in this room earlier. Reek, I'm a in here. I'm about to ping her in. Yeah, she come up in this room. Oh yeah, we want to know. know. And then, oh, then, she, then she say that the brother, she say that the brother got killed doing some old uh, shit in the community. The cousin come up in there and say the nigga got all the EDD cards mailed to his house. When the niggas came to get him, he stopped answering the phone call. They found him at the barber shop and shot that nigga thirty two times. And then turned the gun, went start going to the mama house. So the mama and her ran up out of there and went to take. Him. When Reek went, Reek started talking about it, then she finally clipped it. But GoFundMe, they're going to release all that information, the history of it. Because I told them I got my turn. I said, look, we're going to file a class action. So we need to notify the people who donated to this so we can get all this money back. Look. You milked the people for 30000 on the GoFundMe. Your brother been buried since June. You been, you just cut the GoFundMe off at the end of May. How many times you gonna bury the nigga? 
Hey, Wack. You, you were just Rick, in this room Rick, earlier. Rick, 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 I'm gonna pingo in here. I'm about to pingo in. Yeah, she come up in this room. Oh, Rick, yeah. She she was, we want to know. And then, oh, then, then, she, then she say that the brother, she say that the brother got killed doing some old uh, shit in the community. The cousin come up in there and say the nigga got all the EDD cards mailed to his house. When the niggas came to get him, he stopped answering the phone call. They found him at the barbershop and shot that nigga 32 times. And then turned the gun went and started going to the mama house. So the mama and her ran up out of there and went to Texas. Reed came in there last night, got on her head because she ain't even make no noise really no more. Oh no, I'm, oh, it's on. Ain't no, we ain't letting up. Now it's time for me to go. I keep telling people, I'm gonna let you have your burn, but don't be mad with my fire cup. Share up, y'all. We back with I'm it. I'm finna fuck over you now. If you got the same screenshots I got, I got all of them, and I got the people that go fund me that's finna send me the history showing the whole Welcome shit. Back to and me. I got the family members showing me they go fund me stopped in June where they collected 30,000 and buried the boy. Her shit ran all the way to motherfucking May. So, so that's about 60,000 people want, total. The people want their money back. I'm going to get that class action. You want to play with the bitch, dog? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I want that class action. To get that money. She said she, she went and got scholarships. Sure. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put up her GoFundMe. Anybody that contributed to this. We ain't tired of all money back plus uh, we filed the class action. We need to get our bread back. Oh, she got our bread. Or oh, she gonna shut the fuck up. She uttered one more she word. She tricked all the money on Rick. She tricked it all on no. Rick. No, 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 no. No, no, no. That's her EMT money. She's a, she rides in the passenger seat and navigates the driver. And the share ambulance. up Clubhouse Streets, man. That's where she works. Uh. She don't touch the bodies or nothing. She don't touch the patients. She just tell a nigga, go right here, go left here. Car in front of you. There go a dog crossing the street. Watch out. That's all she do. So maybe some of that money she sent. But that little 30, 40,000 she collected. And you know, when you go to go fund, you got to put down a description on why you collected these funds. So the cousin going to send me the death certificate, all that. Burial, all that. We're going to do this class action. Hey, Stan G, your phone got feedback, man. Stan, we need to get that that bread back, bro. You know, I'm going to play the game. I ain't tripping. I keep telling them, leave me alone. I ain't got no sense. I'm an educated thug with no limits. <laughs> Somebody warned her, like, you know, that other nigga would reek. He been real quiet over there. Here it comes. Nigga, they said that grandmama and the mama made them drink bleach. So I know why you fucked them. She had a hard life. I want to know what I need to know about these things. Just we talking. You bring her ass on in here. Oh my God, please don't. I'm on in. I'm, on in. I'm telling you right now. Whoever bring her in, I'm going for the juggler. So I'm telling you, I ain't holding no mercy. I'm back on the cell block. We on, we on five months lockdown with nothing to do. And everybody depending on me to keep them entertained. Bring her ass in here. Yes. Yeah, she got the pumpkin head on them Halloween pictures, the forehead shiny. And we want, we want, we want answers. We want answers, you know. Where the money go? Did you hey, dig him up and bury him again? Her, did you pay her cousin? Because her cousin was with her on Sunday. I ain't yeah, pay shit. Sunday. She changed her mind about her own cousin. You know why she changed her mind? What happened? You know why she changed her mind? She Chuck, you got to stop with that pain shit because you keep accusing T of some cash app shit and all this weird shit. He never accused T of that. Bullshit. That's not bullshit. Somebody in your room be accusing you but you don't check for that shit. It wasn't Chuck. Damn, Chuck, you got two voices or one? Chuck, you got two voices or one? Chuck, you got two voices or one? Man, I'm going to say what I'm going to say for my bro. I'm going to say what I'm going to say for my bro. I've been watching you paint these narratives on my bro name, so I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I know you very cool. Who is this nigga right, Chuck? I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. I ain't nobody puppet. I'm that nigga. I'm not talking to you. I don't know you. I'm I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. That's all you need to worry about. I want to know, Chuck, why y'all keep painting this narrative? He ain't paying shit. He get paid. 
Damn, Chuck, he's sucking nah, your dick. I ain't sucking shit. And I'm saying facts for the record. Y'all saying some other shit nah, talking about. Talk Y'all saying it. something about a nigga Let that Chuck ain't even saying shit. Let Chuck ain't saying shit. Back. Yo, Yo, listen. Back. I want to yeah, know. On, 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 First of all, I, I want to know that he's a dick sucking. That nigga's a dick. And whack you's a bitch, nigga. You ain't nobody, nigga. I want to know. Man. Hey, I don't even know who you are. See, you can't tell me I'm nobody because you said my name. I can't even say your name. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Weirdo. Right. I must be somebody. Because right. right. you know me and I don't know All you. All right. All right. You're going to leave that All alone. Right. I don't even know who the fuck you are. I don't know your name, nothing about you. But you seem to know my name, though. So who's somebody who nobody? I'm just letting you know, use oh, okay. the pussy, my nigga, so move along. Okay, all right, all right, whatever hey, that is, one. Mr. Nobody. Man, who is this so woman keeps so speaking when men is talking? You a female. Nigga, that's you a young man. Y'all act like women hit ain't got like no voice. When men is I talking. smoke hip-hop live, subscribe, hey, hit hey, the no, notification no, bell. But you did the same shit she did, chimed into a whole bro, conversation. I'm, like, hey, bro, I'm talking as a man, bro. That's witnessing everything and standing there while everything is going on. Y'all saying that. Chuck is saying that he's getting paid. Chuck ain't never said that, that Chuck shit. Hey, hey, Chuck, Chuck, he he Chuck got there, a bro. whole mouth. He could talk for hey, himself. He said he hey, didn't Chuck. say it. That man got 60 saying, followers. Yes, he did, nigga. Hey, yo, Chuck, so this is the thing, Chuck. I'm still trying to figure out. You know, like I know, T always go to all kind of rooms. That nigga that came to my room, argued with me, told me I was wrong. He didn't agree. He didn't came to the room. He see some shit. He'd be like, well, you got a point. Why would you say that the nigga working for me when all the nigga did was just give his opinion? All the nigga did, Mimi come over there and give her opinion. Hold on, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I came over there twice to give my opinion on the shit that was brought to us, and then that. That's what I'm saying. You just give your opinion. Hold on, hold on. I what I said to T was. I thought it was the whole play because I remember him talking about the other shit. So I was like, okay, maybe he got a play set up or whatever. I did not but know. But what other shit? A, I know y'all had a relationship outside of the outside of what the fuck we knew. Who, so who that's I don't. I just know T to be the nigga that he don't bite his tongue. I respect that. Like he come over there, he pull up. Nah, nigga, I don't agree. Or like, uh, well, you got to put whack. What you talking about? Hey, bro, what happened with me and T, bro, that's in-house business, bro. No, it like, wasn't because you said business, you said he worked for me. No, I said that nigga T100. That's all I said, bro. Everything well, else. Well, he started over there. In my mouth. Yeah, so but you know he did start over there, right? So what's wrong with him? But he that? started over there. I know, so what's wrong with it, bro? Think about that. But, but you saying he worked for me, though. Like, I, we ain't never had no... The nigga, Mimi, you didn't heard T in there talking shit all yeah, that. Like that nigga just don't come over there, dick ride nobody. Then you say I stole five of your minds. Yeah. Yeah, did I not tell no, you? No, I kicked hey, them bro, out, bro, and then you picked them up. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah. You kicked them out, so. How that's you all, saying I, I, I told you? I don't know where you got that from, bro. That don't even make sense. On the replay. I, I kicked him so out, So you bro. saying you didn't say that on the replay? I said, no, this is what I said, bro. I said it's strange when I kick out Mars and shit. And I be thinking that they got something else going on. They, they funny how they go over on 100 ENT, bro. That's funny as shit. No, like, you said the nigga that stole five of my mind. It's five of them. I think it's six. But did I steal them? Did I steal them? Or was I they? Their ass out, bro. Yeah, they free so agents. They were free agents. Okay, Chuck, yeah, did man, I not I tell know, you? I don't know how you heard the audio, bro, but look, uh, it was a misunderstanding. That ain't what I meant by that. But that's I what you said. Now, now, haven't I not told you before? Yo, Chuck, you be getting rid of some good people. Haven't I not said that? Yeah, I told you, you that. said that, and I said that's okay. in your eyes. So if a nigga is a star, is a star quarterback, and I feel like they can cover my team and hey, do a bro, great so job. Hey, bro, so let me ask you a question. And the niggas are free. Why didn't they talk that much over there? He only talk when y'all talking about me. Why who? King Ho. He don't Why talk what? a lot. King Yo, he don't talk who? a lot. Who don't talk a lot? King Yo. King yeah, Yo? Nah, he, stole on, them, he only chime in when somebody say something to him or if it's something he you want to talk about. He used to chime in a lot. What happened? <clears throat> What you mean? Yeah, when he was with Duffy, he chimed in when he, he wanted to talk. He chimed in all the time, like, oh, like what happened? Like, y'all silenced him over there, some shit, or he good? 
I just want to know, bro. That's all. Silence who? King Yo talk when he want to talk. Oh, okay. No, all he right. don't. No, he don't. <laughs> I mean, you don't act like you know that nigga don't be at work. Nigga be at work. King, King Yo you know never that. be talking anyway. He, 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 yeah, but he, he talks when he want to talk. He, he backtracks, bro. So I don't know, but see. All you niggas backtrack. <laughs> yeah. He do play victim. Yeah, King Yo talk when he want to talk. But I'm just saying, bro, y'all, like, T, you just did it to T. Actually, he the nigga from your room that'll come over there and talk some shit when some shit going on. But be real. Hey, bro, he, he, he like, didn't you, y'all was talking all this shit about this PTR shit. Like, somebody went on the stage with a 100 badge and didn't cause confusion. What PTR Man, y'all shit? Talk about us for like a, uh, they came on the stage with a 100 PTR. No, he did that in Freddy room. Yeah, no. We gonna tell him to do that? Yeah, well, it, look, it didn't look good. You know that. Especially what Freddy was doing. It looked like it was a big old place. Yeah. For real. I feel you, but we, and, we didn't tell and him me, to me, do that. I don't that. know why you be getting defensive. Because you pull up when you want to pull up. <laughs> I'm not and you defensive. speak your piece when you want to speak your piece. I'm not defensive, you way. You don't never dick ride nobody. I'm not a dick ride. Stop. I wouldn't get defensive. I was just saying. That's what I said. You don't never dick ride nah, nobody. I was, just saying, I, I was just saying when it came to tea, I, I, Big Chuck could tell you, I said, look, I want y'all niggas to fix it on the back end. I said, I'm going to still go over there and support that mind room. But when that mind kicked me yesterday, I said, I'm not fucking with this shit. I'm like, you ain't have to kick us down. It was females arguing. I'm like, when niggas be arguing, nobody get kicked down. But as soon as the women start I arguing, I guess he niggas... say Chuck kicked him down to the goose. So that's why he opened the room. I don't uh, know. I, I don't know, man. Chuck, Chuck, you should really work that out. But Chuck, that's a good piece. I'm telling you. Let that ego shit go, bro. You might want to make that right. Not going out like that, my nigga. You dig what I'm saying? If we're going to do this, we're going to do this shit the right way. Hit that motherfucking like button. Bare minimum. Feeling it. it was in opposition. They tell me y'all was running nothing. We Cut that out. It was always New York. Look, it was New York, LA, and then came Atlanta. Fuck out of here, bro. And Atlanta was taking out of the way. New York, LA, New York, LA, Atlanta, Chicago kind of phased in and took over with a boom at the same time. Hey, but what do you think Atlanta was getting? So wait a second. What 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 about the niggas in Texas and shit? You know, they had it out. Nah, go on with that shit, bro. Come on. Nah, go on with that. No, no, no. Even, even Gucci mind said he was inspired by me. Atlanta is Atlanta. Atlanta. I'm telling you, listen to the beats in the air. That's not facts. You got to do your research. You got to do your research. Atlanta is Atlanta, bro. Atlanta is Atlanta. I'm not going to let you get that. Let them people win, bro. Because guess what? When niggas was talking shit, that's what happened. Atlanta is Atlanta, bro. Atlanta is Atlanta. I'm not going to let you get that. Let them people win, bro. Because guess what? When niggas was talking crazy about the South and what they was doing, how they were sounding, that was the Atlanta niggas taking that hit, bro. Come That's on. about when the trap started coming, when the, like, nigga, Gucci Mane, he was telling me probably, you ain't gonna give Atlanta they props, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, bro. I salute, salute Atlanta. I just can't matter after. That's why they show us so much love, because they, 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 they used to love our sound, bro. Like, like, play a hey, fly. Bro, like, you never bro, heard bro, the nigga like play a fly, you but Drake, me a nigga did more Drake just style put... Y'all can do with your own sound. Shit, cause they had all they had all the people and they, they had more they had Yo more. Was the best they had Yo got it. Yo Atlanta got it. Yo 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 got it. So ain't nobody saying they ain't good numbers, but you only a captain. They did five hundred thousand the first week. Negative. Stop lying. Just tell the truth. That's what I heard. That means good numbers, bro. Yeah, but so so now he did five hundred thousand all of a sudden. That's just even no, my fuck. No, he did five hundred overall. Which in the day, how long that been, nigga? He been gone damn near a year, right? Yeah. Okay, well we really want to talk about it. My nigga, they like y'all doing y'all thing, but it's, it's a few powerhouses on this east and this west, and in the Midwest, that's still dropping, doing them kind of numbers. I'm gonna keep it real. See, we finna connect with the Wiz now. See, they what got it doing. I already see his plan, so it's finna, we finna take over. You don't know. Memphis, like Memphis. You say, you know, 
It's like you said, you knew Pooh Shiesty Daddy. Subscribe to I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Subscribe and hit the like button. Hey, bro, but I know the can't stand niggas for real, though. You know what I'm talking about? I don't want to get lost. You know the niggas? And I told I said, you, I, I, you say, I, like I said, a nigga gotta know me. I, my nigga gotta know me. I talk about his well, son on my blog well, we and shit. Phone, what he say? He, he probably didn't want to tell the truth. Be like, yeah, I know the uh, nigga. Then, uh, then it be some uh, blog shit behind my name or something. He just probably uh, didn't want to say the shit. But he probably like, my, I heard about this old man. You know what I'm talking right. about? He probably like, nigga said, let us die up. Heal. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the oh, new thing. Nigga. See, you need to give a fuck because that's the new way. <laughs> you so you saying you man, you think radio? Wait, I'm gonna keep it real. You think how long you think how long you think radio gonna radio be around? Going how long away. you think radio that gonna be around? Going away. Never. Never. Forever, nigga. So you so, so you don't think Radio's podcast is gonna take over? It's gonna be instead of narrative radio and promote the artist. You don't think the podcast, podcast is gonna is promote the artist of marketing? You podcast is not gonna shut radio down. What are you talking about? Podcast is gonna be the next thing jumping. Folks don't even listen to the radio holly no more. Okay, if you say so. How many how many niggas you know just really just go bumping the radio? Hey, bro, Every radio still falling at number four. Regardless of what you say, say what you want, nigga. But they go look at their favorite artist interviews, though, right? That's a hey, bro. That's a whole nother marketing. marketing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If it's gonna, if I can take over marketing, stand, 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 look, bro. Here go the here go the fact. You know shit about this business. You want to be in the business, and you just be talking. You just but I'm did. learning. As you I talk, I'm, I'm going to keep it real. I'm, bro, I'm learning. Just, as you just I talk said, to you, you though. You coming to sit down on my podcast was me offering you a deal. Do you know like, how crazy that sounds? Like, at the same time, I'm learning as I talk to you, though, bro. I don't think I'm at a damn At the same fool. time, do you know how crazy that sounds? Man, this sound like I, I wasn't gonna go out there for no reason. You were gonna love me to the point you were gonna sign me. I don't love no nigga. I love my woman, my nigga. I got love for the nigga. You were gonna love. You were gonna. You were gonna love the way I put this shit down. You were gonna be like, look, you gotta be. I, this, this nigga no right here. I no gotta have him on my no team. Just cause the nigga, just cause I went and sat down on no jumper, don't mean no jumper offered me a deal. Like you gotta stop saying dumb shit, bro. <laughs> So why would I get on your podcast for? I, I, it's some. It's some about staying G that you fuck with though. Hit that like button, I don't y'all. give a fuck about you. I ain't asked nigga to stay in your wife. I'm gonna come to LA. I don't give a fuck about no stay G nigga. I guess the deal sound better. The deal sound better. The deal sound better. That's all right. Nigga talking about it's pretty crazy. My, it, it, it gotta be something about this stay G old mind nigga that people love because they gravitate to me, way. You know what I'm talking about? Numbers numbers don't My numbers do show it. I'm doing millions on YouTube and shit. Oh, uh, this nigga on this, man. I'm done talking. Just this this for real. Just look on stage. G like, hey, just look bro, on stage. We ain't your little kids. You like to lie to, bro. We ain't your kids, bro. No, you ain't got I'm not. Like, real shit. Like, on every TV show I've been on, this shit damn near hit a million. Yo, Stan G, come on, bro. I'm lying. Go look at go go look at the Maury numbers right now. Go, go look at Stanji and Maury numbers right now. Go look at Stanji and Maury numbers right now. That's Maury. Right Maury gonna do what Maury do. What or without you, nigga? But hey, Stan, I broke the record. I broke Stan the record. Also, I Stan G, you Stan G, YouTube off your deal. You say YouTube off me a deal. And that nigga. Out. Shit, if they come, if I sit down with them, they, they gonna offer me a deal. They love, they gonna love to Off the numbers, huh? Off the numbers. <laughs> off the numbers. They gonna, they gonna fall crazy. in love with me. Look, I know what to do. I know what to do, and I get along with everybody in the staff. See, that's what I do. When I go, when I go and talk to these people, when I go to these shows. We better go to a show now in the next month. Watch how, watch how much, how, watch how many numbers I do. On my next TV show. Watch you watch Mar- the shit. Mari off your deal, Stan G. Man, Jerry, the one put me on. What you mean, Jerry? I, after I did Jerry's show, he said, you got it. He said, man, after that, I did nine TV shows back to back, bro. 
He said, I got to eat, bro. Bro fell in love with me, bro. You don't think he was really fine. He, he they prostituted you and got rid of you. If he had to find a lot of he had to <laughs> get out of Dodge. He knew he ran up on the wrong nigga. He said, hold on, this nigga can really get down. He That's had to get like, back on stage. YouTube family, subscribe to that I Smoke Hip Hop Live platform. If you love the entertainment today, man, go follow Energy Gang Global Eggheads. You feel me? My dog Stan G, WAC 100, CEO Reek, everybody who's just been on the, today's video who was on here. Great subject, great entertainment, just to kick back on a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and relax. You hear what I'm saying, man? The weekends is going to be the best times, man. Y'all just make sure y'all rock with the channel. Hit that like button. Like, share, and subscribe to a real one. You know what I mean? This YouTube thing ain't going to stop for nobody, man. Look, man, we're going to hit you with that duck intro. Rest in peace to Big Clout. FBG shit! Yeah, I'm dropping in and out of force, then it's on my head.